Our fifth tutorial will be on the subject of pictures. What do you do about pictures? Like many other local search engines, Google Places allows you to put pictures into this listing. And for the most part, the pictures you want to put up will be pictures that will help people to make a decision that they want to do business with you. They might be pictures of products or brands that you use. They might be pictures of the front of your store. They might be pictures of you or your staff. There are many different pictures that you could use in order to build trust, in order to give the client the belief that this is somebody they should do business with. However, there are a couple of things to take into consideration. First of all, the first picture is the one that Google will use as an icon on your listing. On the outside map, where you want to be, there are no iconic uh, pictures there. However, if somebody goes to Google Maps search and puts the name in at that location and the city that they're searching for, there will be a list of businesses that pop up. Next to each of those businesses, there will either be an icon or there won't be, depending on whether you've put up a picture. If there is an icon, it will be the first picture that you show on your listing. So choose that one with care. My personal preference is to go for emotional icons. I don't think the front of your store is necessarily a great draw. It might be, but it's not necessarily the most obvious or best way to go. Your logo may not be the best item to put up there either. In some cases it might be, and you might feel that that logo is so well known or so well respected in your neighborhood that that's what you want to show. Your picture may or may not be the best thing. Many of my friends have told me for years that I have a great face for radio. <laughs> so I've taken a big risk here by doing these videos. But maybe your face will be the most important thing you could put there on that iconic uh, picture. Make this decision carefully. Consumers looking at the listing may choose your business based on the picture that's on that listing. The other element with regard to pictures is that Google is a little selective when it comes to the way that you upload the pictures. You can't just upload any old thing. There are a number of things that Google requires for that picture, and these things may change. Check under Google Places Help to determine characteristics of the picture that Google will accept. This will vary based on size, number of pixels, etc. The other thing is that sometimes when you put up certain pictures, they will be okay by size, and by number of pixels, but they will be shaped funny, and Google will end up squashing your picture in various ways. So I tend to try to put up square pictures. They seem to do the best. Sometimes the pictures will just go up just fine. Other times, I've had to work for 15 or 20 minutes to get a single picture to work on Google Places. I hope this tutorial has been helpful to you. We will have a number of other tutorials for you to watch on subjects ranging from the address, the phone number, uh, the description of the company, how to use videos, what to do about coupons, what to do about reviews. It will be our pleasure to have you watch all those tutorials or to read about it on our blog. If you decide that you don't want to do it yourself and you'd like to hire a pro, we hope you'll hire us.